Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 5. And they've been prescribing to, prescribed rather, to kids as young as three. In tonight's special report, the controversy and the dangers behind the drugs used to treat an increasingly common medical condition in children. A lot of people over 40 years old are on cholesterol-lowering drugs these days as doctors try to help them avoid heart disease. But in some cases now, the patients using these drugs our children. And as KTVU's Health and Science Editor John Fowler tells us, there is a lot of controversy about that. New statistics show more than 2 million children nationwide are taking cholesterol-lowering drugs. I think people would actually be shocked by the number of children who have high cholesterol. CPMC pediatrician Nadine Burke says she sees it in kids as young as three. For most, it's linked with obesity and diet. With the kind of foods that are available, it's, it's it takes a lot of diligence. I think it's pretty tough to, you know, kind of keep kids on the right path. The drugs are Lipitor, Crestor, and others, known as statins, the world's most prescribed medications. It seems like doctors are quick to prescribe medication. Too quick? Yeah. The latest pediatric guidelines call for cholesterol screening by age 10 and statins for some at-risk kids as young as 8. Some parents pressure doctors for pills easier than diet and exercise. Are you going to give a medication and have the kid continue to sit on the couch and eat flaming hot Cheetos all day? The drugs cause the liver to remove extra cholesterol from the blood. Patients are usually on them for life. No one knows what would be the consequences of a child beginning a drug like that at the age of 15. Although researchers say there are no good long-term studies with children, other studies with adults have shown few long-term side effects with statins. So why not prescribe them more freely? It could save many lives. Statins can be very effective uh, when the need is there, but uh, too often uh, they're seen as a magic bullet. In this lab at Children's Hospital Oakland Research Institute, Dr. Ronald Krauss is discovering individual genetics can twist the promise of lower cholesterol. We know there's a lot of those people um, taking statins who still go on to develop heart disease, so we know there's other factors that statins uh, don't improve. Worse, Krauss says, very long-term statin use may have consequences. Cholesterol is fundamental to every cell in the body, and tinkering with it may have unpredictable effects on bone, muscle, and brain. Preventing heart attacks and strokes is not rocket science. It's not. It's, it's what you put in your mouth and how much you sit. Doctors say diet and exercise is the right choice for the vast majority of high cholesterol children. Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News.